All right, we're going to move on to the new search engine that's built into Foxtrot 1. A lot of our customers have very large scripts, um, hundreds, sometimes thousands of actions built to do very complex processes. And one of the things that we get asked a lot of times is we get a call and someone says, you know, there, there's a, a step in my script that's putting in the wrong value in, into my target application. It's putting in a, a code 12, and I really need it to be changed to put in a code 20. But my script is so big, I have a very hard time finding that one action. But with the new search feature, which is available on the toolbar, we give you this search panel that's off to the left of Foxtrot 1. It actually docks to the side of the Foxtrot 1 window, so it, it's very easy to manage. Uh, but it also undocks if you wanted to move this around separately. Well, what this search window allows you to do is it searches every nook and cranny of your script, everything from your actions to the action settings, every task, every database field. It goes through all of your different views, your file templates, lookup lists, your, even your deployment button. Anywhere that something, a setting has been made, you can go and find it. So, for instance, if I wanted to search for a click action, I could just type click. So that came up with all the clicks and menu clicks. And for instance, let's say I have a database field. Let me open up some data here. And for instance, this action in my script right here uses the email field, which is located in my database field. Well, what if I wanted to know where are all the places in my script that the email field is being utilized. Well, we can do that by clicking the Expression Builder button here. Most of you are familiar with this window that comes up. It allows you to pick a variable, a database field, anything that, that you want to search for. And in this case, I'm going to scroll down and pick the email field. Once that's in there, I can hit Enter. And it goes through it, and that email is actually used in two locations. It's used on line 5 in the task called 4 search feature, and it's also on line 14 of this task. Now what's neat is I can click this action, and it'll instantly go and highlight that. Now that one was already highlighted, so I'll pick the second one. Notice it flips to the proper task and highlights that action. So it, it zings you right over to where it's being used, very easy. Say I wanted to look for if. Now notice the word if is used in this task name. So return that as a result. Here's all the actions. There's 12 of them that have the word if. And even record 15 has a value. The matching field is address 1. If I click this, notice it sends me right over to record 15. And there's if right there in Halifax Highway. Let's see if I can bring up some other things. If I just search for the letter A, just to give me a lot of search results here, you'll notice that Foxtrot goes through, shows you all the data, all the tasks. And you can also limit what you want to see. So if I only want to look for data, I can do that. So we think this is a really powerful way for you to easily find uh, variables that you may be using, could be a database field, it could even be hard-coded values. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to know, we have a, a, an action over here, a click action, that clicks on a button with a caption of OK. Well, I could search for OK, and assuming this is searching all items. Now I can go through, and this click action here, it went through all the properties of the click action to find that OK button. So it helps you find targets that you might be using. One popular one that we see our customers is those who use the ITI Navigator system, and they need to find all the actions that click the Submit button because the ITI recently changed the Submit button to be called the Close button, and they need to modify the script to make that change. This is a fantastic way to do that. As your ITI users know, your scripts can be quite large. This is just a great way to do that. 